Hi there, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Gemini. Hi Geminis, this is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, as well as the cross watcher of the Gemini. This is your timeless reading. So if you want to purchase the extended, it will be found in the timeless extended readings section of my website, saltwaterheelstarot.com. Wow, look what's at the bottom of the deck. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Wow. Card that flew out was engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So some of you guys are going to be meeting, if you have not yet already met somebody, that you see yourself possibly being long-term with. And something tells me that that is sort of like refreshing or you've been waiting for it because maybe you were meeting people right but they weren't marriage material you know that kind of a vibe this new love could be i mean it could be a stranger obviously right but it, this can be something where it's a second go around for somebody it was a first the first time was a missed opportunity no we're not using this we're going to use the mini rider weight that i just found again the other day and i haven't used these in a minute but they drag a bitch so ten of pentacles right off the bat see commitment ten of pentacles is financial abundance but that's commitment right here see your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment and it's screaming this is a long-term committed relationship now let's say for example this has nothing to do with love and this is career then you would be getting a long-term job or offer okay just flip it and it's with business could be a very lucrative long-term business opportunity wow it screams fucking union look at that four of wands now, what's interesting with this, too, is that this can be the energy for us that's going to be happening when it becomes Gemini season, which is soon. Four of Wands is marriage union. Stability. It's new beginnings, 11-11. Like, this is crazy. I mean, Gemini is the twins of the Zodiac. And, you know, twin flames are supposed to be coming into union. We don't know what the exact nature of twin flames are because there's many different versions of what it is. And I myself, throughout time, have realized that it may not be everything that it is when you Google the characteristics of the generic 17 things that it is. And that's through my own journey and through, of course, channeling directly with Source don't quite know yet what it is and i think there's this elusiveness to it and this mysterious quality around it especially for twins because if you knew too much you'd fucking ruin it we, we would fuck it up we try to control the shit out of it you know next card you had was the hanged man change in perspective something changes somebody changes their mind or something shifts and then they want to move forward six of swords you know, the thing is, is that the hangman can also be a pause. It's a stalemate. Stop, start. You know, remember I've been challenging that forever? Start, stop, start. That's why I said earlier that it could be someone new. No, maybe not. And if I didn't say that, that's what I was trying to say. The fucking chariot. Yeah, there's the delivery, all right. Coming on the chariot. Chariot follows the North Star home. Chariot is Cancerian energy. Some of you, this is a Cancer. This is victory. It's coming forward, moving forward victoriously. So the hangman could have been a stop. And then there's this change of perspective, right? Enlightenment even. And then now things move forward. Take that as it's going to resonate to each of your situations. It's pretty fucking incredible. Queen of Cups. Look at that. Fell on top of the Six of Swords. Moving into calmer waters, which is funny because I feel like what it is, is that you're just becoming more acquainted with and more in your feelings, not in a bad way. You know, there's that term in your feelings where it sort of talks about being overly emotional and the emotion sort of cloud judgment. That's different in this case. In this case, it is the high vibration of the Queen of Cups. And this is being open and vulnerable and tapping into in intuitiveness. Now, Gemini, you are an air sign. 
you know, all, all in the head, thinking about it. As opposed to allowing yourself to feel it. Ruled by Mercury, you guys are always on the go. Always, you know, there's always some kind of chaos, even with some people, not everybody, but with some. Because it does depend what else you have in your chart. Three of Pentacles screams fucking like marriage or union. Look, the Hierophant, Taurus. But this is freaking marriage or union. I got a mean feeling this is the energy for Gemini season. General, yeah. It's for you guys too, don't get me wrong, because you're Gemini. So you notice that happens a lot anytime I do a Zodiac signs reading. Is it if it's Sagittarius, right? And it's Sagittarius season, it tends to really resonate with non whatever, you know, non Zodiac signs. It's just because we're pulling the energy of that season. <sighs> Three of Pentacles, collaboration, coming together. Jeez, you can't make it up. This is fucking insane. All right, let's see what else we have here. In your extended, of course, we're going to do more oracles and tarot, but I mean, just this one, it's like, damn. Oh, <gasps> look at what the fuck it is. The Ace of Pentacles. Holy shit balls. This is like the wedding ring. It's like a, it's like a proposal, an engagement ring. This can be the big offer, signing on the on the dotted line. This can be the moment that someone says, would you like to be in a relationship? Ace of Pentacles for me is moving in career change also. But it's like that, it's like the, the blessing comes from the ethers. For some of you, it comes out of the blue. This person or this offer, Seven of Swords, it's not a great energy. Of course, there had to be something. Seven of Swords is like trying to get away with something. Let's see what they're trying to get away with. The sun. Leo. Some of you could be a Leo, but the sun is also pure total bliss. It's enlightenment. Somebody here may have tried to avoid enlightenment in the past. Tried to avoid an awakening. Tried to avoid putting in the hard work, going through the healing. That's what somebody could have avoided. I mean, this is the happiest card in the whole fucking deck. But it is enlightenment. And then, I mean, it's the Ten of Fucking Cups happily ever after and they lived happily ever after that's fucking insane it's like somebody's getting a happy ending here and not that kind of happy ending when you go and get a little bit of massage or shit okay this is like this is like you get the happily ever after ever ever after shit they're like fairy tale but it, obviously it wasn't fairy tale it was very a long journey and road to get there because with the healing and shit y'all yeah? oh my god the ace of wands Something new begins. It's big shifts and big movements. It's a new career. It's a it's a new job. It's starting your own business. It's a new relationship. Wow. I priestess bottom of the deck. Something may have been secret. However that works for you and however that's connected. Secret emotion, secret relationship, secret offer. Um it also speaks of intuition, right? She is the keeper of the secrets, though. But but the high priestess is, is an intuitive bitch, basically, if you want to just, in layman's terms, you know? She's an intuitive motherfucker. All right, let's get some of these Kipper fortune-telling deck cards, and then we're going to head into your extended. Again, to purchase that, click on the link below, or go to my website, saltwaterheelstarot.com. And because this is a timeless reading, it will be found in the timeless reading section. Look at that. It came out in reverse. Upright, toil and labors is working really fucking hard, grinding, feeling like you're not getting anywhere. In reverse, your luck's changing. That's what this is. Hard work pays off. It's almost like somebody gets a, 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 a huge, massive career offer. Some of you, it's both love and career because the 10 of pentacles with the ace of pentacles. You're talking skrillas. Munty, hunty expectation that was just on the bottom of the deck i should have just freaking took it someone is expecting something and it doesn't come in the way you expected it to that's the kicker here you was looking this way but it came from behind you was looking at the front door but it came through the side door see what i'm saying something is gonna happen or the person it's not what you were expecting it to be It just wasn't. I don't know how that's going to work for each of you because it's a general reading, but 
take that as it resonates and put it where it belongs. All right, let's head into your guys' extended. Thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. Please follow me on Instagram, xi underscore missy underscore xi. And don't get scammed, okay? Because there's all these people on Instagram pretending to be me and, and all these other people. And they're trying to scam you with for, and asking you to send them money. I'm not even accepting personal reading requests right now. I'm only catching up with my old requests that are, have accumulated. I'm not accepting any more new ones. So it definitely is not me in your damn DMs. I don't even solicit people. Healing doesn't work like that yet as us being healers. I mean, technically, I can't heal you. We open the door and give you the tools and shit to help you heal yourself. But healers, uh, we don't knock on your door. Just to, it's, it's, I'm not selling shoes, you know what I'm saying? So that's first of all. Be wary of that kind of an energy. And so I'm not in your DMs trying to sell you some shit, okay? All right, guys. We'll head into your extended and let's see what's popping. Love you guys. Bye.